All right. We've matters with Olympus to resolve. They don't know I'm here, most of them, besides Zeus. Maybe Athena. They think you're Nyx's son rather than mine, and that your goal is still to join them on their mountaintop. What a mess. What can we do? The gods of Olympus have all been very good to me for the most part. I don't feel great about deceiving them. They keep trying to help me escape. What can we do? We can make peace with them and let them know the truth. So much of it as they would tolerate. Diplomacy is not your father's strong suit, but I'm going to need you two to do exactly as I say. Do you understand? Yes, mother. So what do you intend to do and how do I fit in? We're going to invite all of them to a little family gathering, here. And you shall personally deliver them their invitation, Sagrius. Mother, are you serious? So we're just going to have a bash with them and they'll just see you after all this time and be fine with everything? They certainly shall not be fine with everything. But Hades and I will be prepared to tell them what they need to hear. Don't worry. I shall do the talking. What are you going to say? Oh, you know, that we met, fell in love, eloped, had a child. A child who, once grown, sought desperately to reconnect with his extended family. To the chagrin of his grim lord father. That's... that's all true. As individual statements, at least. Fortunately, our loving and dutiful son at last persuaded his mother and father to reveal their secretive relationship and make an effort to rejoin their great family. Your mother won't be happy that you left. I'll deal with her. Perhaps I'll have to visit her and the rest of them from time to time, if that's what it shall take. But I'll be back. I have no choice. Did you know that if you eat the seeds of an underworld pomegranate, then you cannot leave for one month out of the year per seed? What? No, I never knew that. Neither do they. How soon is this family gathering you have in mind going to take place? Soon after you invite them all, I hope. Now go. And trust in me, all right? We have a lot to learn of trust, I think. I know what you mean. I'll let you know when it's done. Took some figuring out, but so does any decent plan, I guess. Hope Mother knows what she's doing. In the name of Hades, Olympus, this is an official message. Lady Demeter, this is for you. Oh, what's all of this, young Zagreus? A message of some sort for me indeed. I can't decipher it, although... It bears the marks of my two foster brothers here, and, well, it seems we'd better compare notes. This, this is an official message, and I hope it finds you well, Lady Aphrodite. Why, this is something, dearest. Such an enigmatic message you have sent. How positively captivating. I must know what it says. It bears the marks of others on Olympus, so perhaps we ought to share some common knowledge on the subject, hmm? All right, here goes. In the name of Hades, Olympus, this is an official message. Uncle Poseidon, hope you can make this out. What's this, nephew? Why is this a note? Or part of one addressed to me, but it appears there should be other pieces for the others here. Ah, it's like a sunken treasure, then. Which means I must seek its mysteries at once. Name of Hades. Olympus, this is an official message. Lord Hermes, got here as quickly as I could. Why, that looks like you've got a message just for me this time. How special is that, boss? Some sort of invite from the looks of things. Are you sure that I'm supposed to have this, seeing as I'm not officially involved? This lives up to your expectations, mate. In the name of Hades, Olympus, this is an official message. Should be a good time, Lord Dionysus. Whoa, hold just for a moment, Zag. Now I can recognize an invite when I see one, man. And this is definitely, almost certainly, some sort of invite. One for me and 
One for everybody else, it looks like here. Oh, I'm excited. That is something really special, I can tell. How goes the doling out of invitations, Zagreus? Have the Olympians been amenable to the idea? Not just amenable, Mother. Positively intrigued. I can't believe you scrambled the invitations in such a way that only with a lot of them combined will they get all of the details. A bit of collaboration seemed in the spirit of things. We're a great big family, Zagreus. Past time we started acting like one, no? Now keep it up. And thank you for your help. You got it, Mother. Sure hope this works. In the name of Hades, Olympus, this is an official message for you and all your splendor, Lord Uncle Zeus. Why, what is this you have for me, young man? It appears to be a message of some sort, bearing my thunder sigil. Though there's one for everybody on Olympus, have they as yet received their own? I must know what it says. It's from your father. Who else can it be? I'm gonna check on this. This is an official message, especially for you, Lady Artemis. Some kind of special message for me. Oh, looks like there's one for everybody on Olympus, then. Felt rather special for a moment there, and now you're making me check in with all the others. Great. Here goes, then. In the name of Hades, Olympus, this is an official message. Lord Ares. Please consider our proposal, once you're able to decipher it. My, what is this, my kid? Some sort of invitation for me, I presume? Not just for me. This symbolizes all the others here. Most intriguing. I shall investigate the meaning of this as quickly as I'm able, then. But first... This means war. Mother, this family gathering you're planning, are all of our relatives welcome? Because I was wondering if I could extend the invitation to a distant ancestor. You know, chaos. Nix's parent? You've been in contact then? Look, if you feel it's the right thing to do, I trust your judgment. The spirit of this event is to bring the family together. Thanks. I doubt chaos would be able to attend, though would still appreciate the thought. Mm-hmm. This is it, then. In the name of Hades, Olympus, this is an official message. Lady Athena, I trust you'll quickly figure this one out. Is this some kind of offering for me? No, hold a moment. This appears to be a message. Part of one. Then can this mean... I have to notify the others. I trust they also have received something from you, or shortly shall. That was the last of the invitations. Just need to tell Mother once I get home. Athena's power. I can I sense some sort of shifting in your father's residence. You seek to ask something of me about it, do you not? Respond. Oh, I'm glad you asked. It's just my mother, she's... We're reaching out to the Olympians, trying to reconnect the family. It's been a while, relatively, since she and father saw the others, but in case a gathering occurs, I did wish you to know you're cordially invited, too. Cordially invited? A generous proposal, son of Hades. Though a natural gathering is to occur within my space, please understand it would be difficult for me to bring the full entirety of my presence there. However, I think I can arrange to be with you in some capacity. Thank you. It's done, Mother. Father, the invitations. Personally sent to everyone with whom I've been in contact. So what do we do now? Excellent, Zagreus. Congratulations, Hades. On a job well done. Uh, Persephone, how can you be so certain your request was executed to your satisfaction? It's known as trust, Hades. Or faith. They're similar. Try one sometime. It'll be good for you. As for what we do next, why, we've a great big feast we must prepare. This house is not a suitable location for such guests. 
Dionysus alone shall bring ruin to this place. Or... Uh, the faith thing that you said. Yes, good. Now then, we have a lot of work to go around. So why don't we call everyone on staff and let them in on this, and dole out suitable responsibilities, all right? All right. All right. All right. Thus did all of Olympus journey deep into the underworld, all together for the very first time. The Queen Persephone revealed herself in all her splendor, much to their surprise, and told them everything she indicated to her son. She eloped with Grimlord Hades, she said, mothering a fire-stepping prince who sought to reconnect with his extended family. Hades and Persephone at first refused his wish, but so moved were they by his relentless struggles to the surface that at last they decided to heed their willful Zagreus and reach out for his and everybody's sake. The Olympians listened to all this in stunned silence. Then Zeus himself began to laugh. Welcome back into the family, he said. After the shock subsided, the festivities began. I say, big brother, you and your better half put on a positively smashing night. It's a relief for all of us, knowing Persephone is safe and sound. And mother to as noble of a son as my good nephew there. Well, little brother, the Queen and I in turn appreciate you all taking time out of your doubtless busy lives to come all this distance to my house. I'm certain it is very modest in comparison to Mount Olympus, but I trust that you were suitably entertained. Oh, <laughs> of course, of course, Hades. Now then, farewell, and let us keep in better touch from here. Hmm. Farewell indeed, Lord Zeus. When finally the great feast ended, all the Olympians returned to their mountain abode, fully satisfied. As for the House of Hades, it required thorough cleansing, from the rafters to the floor. Such revelry, of course, is unbecoming of the name of Hades and the fearsome reputation of the underworld. For if mortals were to have no fear of death, then they would have no fear of anything at all. A well-kept family secret, then, this would live on to be. I'd say that went about as well as could have been expected. And the cleanup wasn't all that bad, for the most part. Well, fortunate Uncle Zeus seemed to catch on right away and went along with it. But this whole elaborate tale you spun, I remember how hurt I felt when I found out Father lied to me about you. Now we're lying to Olympus. What if they find out? Even if they don't, I don't like it. Zagreus, I may not be an expert. But here's what I've come to understand about how families work. At least our own. The thing is, how we speak to one another is even more important than the words we use. I think deep down, everyone in our family knows this. You're saying they all knew you weren't being perfectly honest and went along with it anyway. I guess the pomegranate thing in particular was a bit of a stretch. The common ground in our family is that we want peace. Besides Ares, though even he would rather the conflict occur elsewhere. That elaborate tale, it's less a deception and more a concession. A way of saying, let's move on from the past and start anew. No hard feelings. You don't have hard feelings. What about father? What about Demeter? Well, let's see. My hard feelings are nothing next to the joy of having my son in my life. Your father never imagined his relationship with me could be out in the open. And my mother, she's just glad I'm alive. And Uncle Zeus is glad things didn't turn out worse for him. I get the sense he acts a bit impulsively at times and deals with the consequences later. What can I tell you, Zagreus? We're family. You said it yourself to me before. We're stuck with one another. That any of us like each other in the slightest. 
It's a wonder and a blessing, I think. Yeah, I know what you mean. Thanks, Mother. I think I'll be heading out again soon. See you when I get back. Sounds good. I'll see you then. The house contractor up in lights. Are you back? A majestic gilded edifice of Mount Olympus, crafted with the utmost care from the true mountain stone, now shines forever brightly, even in the dim light of the House of Hades, as a parting gift from the Lord Master's kin. The handiwork of Lord Hephaestus himself. Sounds like he's been rather busy. A little slice of Olympus. Was bound to happen, really. But one big happy family. No issues whatsoever. <laughs>